Hi everybody. Uh, so this is a common question uh, that that uh, has been showing up, which is uh, uh, chapter twenty two, uh, uh, homework twenty two B, chapter twenty two, question twenty one. It says a one hundred watt light bulb is brighter than a sixty watt light bulb. Again, we've talked about this with power. Uh, when both operate at the same voltage of one hundred twenty volts. Again, we've talked about this. That everything, anything that comes out of an American outlet is 120 volts. And it says, if instead they were both operated at the same current, uh, which would be brighter and explain. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a, 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 a tricky kind of thing. So here I got two light bulbs. Uh, they're both in a nine volt battery. I'm not gonna use the uh, 120 volts because I'm gonna use this. And so I can plug this one, uh, uh, close this switch, close the other switch, and you can see the left light bulb is brighter than the right light bulb. Well, let's look at this and see. It, as you can see, right, the current is going faster. So let's let's put in a, a let's put in a, a, some ammeters here. So we got the current here is 0 0.9 amps, and uh, the current in this other one, if I can get this connected there we go is 0 0.3 amps so there's a difference in current here and this is often why people will often say right the more current the more power um so okay we got the voltage is the same both nine volts in fact let's plug in these values here but we can see the resistor of the light bulb is uh, uh 10 ohms and this one's 30 ohms so the resistance of the light bulb is the property of the light bulb that's not going to change so when they say something is like a 60 watt bulb or a 100 watt bulb uh, people are saying that banking off the fact you're going to plug it into an american outlet that has 120 volts so however truly what the property of the light bulb that that you know that that stays the same whether you disassemble it or not is that it's a right, the resistance of the light bulb itself. This is always gonna be a 10 ohm, this one's always gonna be a 30 ohm. And uh, when I plug it in then is when it gets its power output. Again, this power output would be the volts multiplied by the current, and this one would be the volts here multiplied by the current. That's one way I could calculate it. Another way would be uh, the resistance, uh, right, the voltage squared divided by the resistance. We've done that as well. All right. Anyway, uh, uh, so so there you go. That's 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 how that works. But let's say you don't plug it in like you're supposed to. Let's say you plug it in so that the current going through it is the same. So uh, how would that change the light bulb? So okay, the the best way to go about this, I think, is that first I'm going to find out the resistance of the light bulb because I know that's not going to change. Um, and then once I know the resistance, I'm going to see what happens when that resistance. Uh, uh, goes against the same current, I'm gonna calculate the new power output. Because truly, it's not the current that tells me the brightness of the light bulb, it is the power output that tells me the brightness of the light bulb. It's just that uh, this power output, right, which is nine volts times 0 0.9 amps, is bigger than this power output, which is nine volts times 0 0.3 amps. But what if their current is the same, which one would have the greater power output? All right, let's see what that what that looks like. So what I'm gonna do here, whoop. all right, so what I'm gonna do is find out uh, uh, the resistance here, and I'm gonna use the facts. So I wanna use things that are constant between both of them. I know that it's 120 volts for both, and that the power is 100 watts. So I can use V squared over R to find out then the resistance. So the resistance here is going to be uh, V squared over the power. So the resistance here is going to be 120 divided by the power, which is 100. Uh, so if I do this, I get a resistance of, um, oh, what's that going to be? Uh, 1.2 ohms. Oops, sorry, 120 squared. Uh, so 120 squared divided by 100. So let's see, 120 squared divided by 100, that's 144. So I get 144 ohms for the 100 watt. And then uh, I'm gonna use the same equation over here. So that's gonna be R equals V squared over the power. So R is gonna be, uh, the voltage is still 120 squared divided by the power, which is 60. And if I do that one,
Oh, well, wait, what did I do? Two forty. So I get uh, the sixty watt resistor is two forty ohms, and there we go. So there's the resistances of both of them, and I know now this then has a resistance of one forty four ohms, and this one has a resistance of two forty ohms, right? So the resistance is bigger uh, uh, for this one, and okay. So uh, I, I, okay. So if I do that, then the power here, well, the current is the same for both. And then the resistance is, is, is kind of the big difference here. So the power, this, this is not going to be necessarily the power. This would only be true for both of these if they were in a 120 volt uh, uh, power source of some sort. So, okay, then I think I'm instead going to use, because I'm trying to compare, right, resistance is the same. And I'm trying, or sorry, current is the same. And I'm trying to compare the resistances. So I'm going to use power as I squared times R. Using that, I'm going to get power equals the current is 0.5 squared multiplied by the resistance, 144. So I get the power here is 144 times 0.5 squared. And I get 36 watts. So 36 watts is coming out of uh, the um, originally 100 watt resistor. And then uh, the next one then, the power is again 0 0.5 squared multiplied by, in this case, 240. I, you barely have to calculate this. You know where this is going, right? Uh, uh, so it's going to be 0 0.5 squared multiplied by 240, and I get 60. Oh, that's interesting. Ends up being the same. Uh, uh, okay, and so, but you can see here, right, what was the dimmer light bulb in the 240 is now the brighter light bulb when the 0 0.5 amps uh, happens. And that's because, again, that the, this, this basically has a smaller or a larger resistance than this one does. All right, hope that helped. See ya, bye.